All right, welcome back to Decrypted Tech. Today in the lab we have an ASUS Z97i Plus motherboard. It's a small form factor motherboard, uh, micro ITX. And we're just going to take a look and see everything that it offers. So that's a quick look at the box. Uh, we've heard you guys don't like to actually take a look at the box for that long. So now we'll take a look at everything that comes inside the box. All right. It is a smaller form factor board, so you really don't get a whole lot in there. You do get a driver CD. You get a manual, of course. Something to tell you everything about everything you need to know. You get a couple of uh, SATA cables. You, of course, get the back the I.O. shield. And you also get um, some adapters. These plug connect directly into the wireless card, which we'll show you in a minute. It's an 802.11 uh, AC wireless card. And then, of course, you have an antenna. This antenna stands up like this. It's used to be mounted on a desk. And then these, of course, connect right into the backs of these. And that gives you your wireless. One other interesting thing that they've done is ASUS used to have a, a plug-in that allowed you to connect everything and then you would plug that into the board. For this, what they've done is they've given you a plug-in and they've given you extension cables. So this will let you get this out of the way, plug this in and actually remove those cables a little bit more out of the board, um, out of the board's way and kind of do some additional cable management. This is a nice touch and we'll go ahead and see exactly how well that works once we get this board in play. Alright, so that covers everything that's inside the box. Now we're going to take a look at the actual motherboard. All right, so here we have the ASUS Z97i Plus. As we mentioned, it's a mini ITX board, so it's going to be very small. Um, you do have, of course, your 1150 socket here that can run your 4770Ks or 4790, which we just happened to have received in the lab today. So we're going to be dropping, we hope to drop both of those in there, and, and we'll see exactly how both of those work out, exactly what we can push this board. We've spoken with ASUS, and ASUS says this is capable of maxing out the 4770 or the 4790. So we're going to go ahead and give this a run for its money and see exactly what it can do once we're finished with the, uh, the feature side of it. So in our performance review, we'll try and hit both of those. You do have an X16 PCIe slot. That's full X16 uh, mechanical and electrical, as you can see on the back there. You have two uh, DDR3 DIMMs, so you're only going to be able to you know, get two slots there. Of course, your Z97 chipset's there. The SATA ports, they split up. If you can take a look here. They have two that are on the outside and two that are inside of the DDR, um, uh, DDR3 slots. So that's going to be interesting depending on you know, if you use a GPU or not. Uh, so we'll take a look once we get this connected to see exactly how well that works out. Of course you have a USB 3.0 slot. You have uh, your 24 pin power connector there. 8 pin up here at the top. Uh, again, we recommend getting an adapter. A TPM module, fan header, and two other fan headers there. The blue one is your CPU fan header. Down here you have your wireless module, that's your 802.11 AC wireless module, you, uh, those cables we talked about, they actually connect right here. They can be a little bit difficult, but once you get them snapped in, they're pretty good, uh, much good to go. Of course you have your battery, and you can see the board is well laid out. Looking at the tracing, it's very clean. Of course, all solid caps, uh, Nichicon caps. Now there's a couple of caps down here that look like they're not solid, those are used for audio. Those actually help um, with the audio, give you a little bit of a cleaner audio signal. Of course, taking a look at the back, you have kind of a typical I.O. shield. You have uh, your PS2 port, that's great for when you're overclocking. have four USB 3.0 ports, four USB 2.0 ports, uh, your LAN card there. This is your uh, audio out. You have HDMI, Display Port, VGA, and of course DVI-I. Now, flipping this over to the back, you have something that's very interesting, which we're looking forward to testing, and that's an M2 uh, SATA slot. So we're going to go ahead and get a, a one of those in the lab here, hopefully very soon, and we'll test this out to see exactly what kind of performance you can get from that. So that covers your basic features of the Z97i Plus motherboard. Our next step is really to kind of get this hooked up, drop in a couple of CPUs, and see exactly how it performs. As always, if you like this video, be sure to click on the like button. Make sure you share it with your friends and subscribe to us so you can stay up to date with the news and reviews we have for you.